Hello, um, just a real quick little video here. I decided to try and get some sunset photos. I am set up here off in the ditch, just off the side of Lake Rathbun, and you can see the sun's in the process out there. Um, got a little bit before it actually sets. Here I give you a little quick setup here. The one thing you need to think about that I forgot, um, already down the ditch, fully down in, got it on the tripod, anything else, look down and the battery says it's damn near dead. So I didn't have, luckily have the batteries back in the car. So I ran back up to the ditch, across the road to the car, got the batteries out. So I'm gonna change them out real quick. Luckily I did have enough time. As you can see in the sunset there, hasn't started too much. So didn't miss a lot there, it took me a few minutes. But anyway, um, also on the tripod here is the one I got the other day. Um, the front leg obviously is drifted out as far as I can and the back the very back one has got one extension out second extension barely out the right leg the small extension is all the way out middle extension is about halfway out so and I did not crank it up for height I thought about it but I left it centered it seems to be a little more stable when you leave the center like crank column the column down so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off real quick and swap out the batteries real fast in my Deal, which actually I guess I can probably show you all I've got to do here is the real quick little flip down untwist of course make sure the camera's off which mine is um, see if I can just set it down here and I do have my batteries lit, um, numbered the original that came with the camera I named labeled one the next two that way as I charge them and use them I always keep the same two batteries together and also in the same spot on the charger or in the I guess battery cradles here I don't know if the cradle spot makes a difference but I do like to keep them together for that way they all have the same number of charges same number of uses and hopefully they'll kind of I guess get a memory to themselves don't know if these really get much for memory but basically they're back in the holder it's got a lock on the end this is the battery grip that I also have a video on here about earlier so if you want to know more about it you just basically click lock it back in and it clips shut so that will not come open unless you actually get a hold of the little inside piece and it flips right open so all I got left to do is hook up my remote timer which is basically the one I done a little quick quick video when I got it unboxing of I've got it set I got it set right now let's see here I got it set on a start instantly it's gonna take a picture every 20 seconds and it's going to basically take 99 frames. I can't imagine I'm going to be anywhere near that, but I'm a big fan of just stopping it. That way they'll have it take more than I need and have it stop somewhere when I'm having to go back and reprogram it. So I'll go ahead and get another clip here in a moment once I get some shots taken and see how it's going. Have a great and wonderful day. Hello, um, back again real quick here. Um, give you a view of what's going on out there um, sun's coming down unfortunately wasn't as good as I was hoping for I was really hoping for less clouds out there there was a nice big opening right above as you can see just clear sky and I was hoping for that on the way back in on the way home and the way out here towards the lake and didn't get it so these aren't gonna be nearly as good of photos as I was hoping for but I'll let you see got it on live view here basically just clicking away every 20 seconds one of the things i did forget to mention with this tripod is it does actually have a bubble level which is really nice and it's not want to show up here very good i guess in this light but you can actually you well, know you can kind of barely see it in there there's a couple different levels on it there's one on the top here there's actually a bubble level you set your tripod there's another one when you actually set up the camera um, when you're doing horizons that the camera being nice but Mine's a little bit off, as you can see, the skyline or the waterline is not quite level because the bank over there is at an angle. So, but I like to kind of stick with the horizon line with the camera less than the actual level because if you got a weird hill shape, it does kind of throw off some pictures. I, at least I feel that way. The other thing I thought was interesting, I'd been here for about oh eight or ten minutes and can't really see it very much. I don't think here, but down in there. There's a log there and it's like a big ravine comes right down here. I assume a big wash off going back into the water, down to the water there. And something come running down through there. 
bigger than a rabbit. I'm going to guess possibly a small coon, maybe a possum, although it's a little early to be out this night, this time of the evening, I guess, ready to be early for them to be out, I guess. He was, he, she, it, was making a lot of banging, rustling sounds. I don't think it really enjoyed me being up here. So anyway, um, so far so good. It didn't bother me. I didn't bother it. Headed on down. Unfortunately, didn't get to see it come out. I was hoping to grab a real quick little video of it coming out towards the water to get a drink or whatever. So, might have had a little hole in there. It's just hiding still waiting for me to leave. So, anyway, I'll check back in. Like I said, this is pretty close to being done here, unfortunately. Did not quite turn out nearly as good as I was hoping. But, I'll post this either with or before or after I throw up the slideshow. So, you guys have yourself a wonderful and safe day. Hello guys, I'm um, back again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and probably call it a night for the night. As you can see, not much else left there. It's really behind the clouds. Clouds really kind of kicked my butt for that half moon, beautiful sunset I was after. Um, camera's still going on the little shoots here. I'm going to go ahead and show you basically the setup. It does an actual countdown, as you can see. And then if you listen real close, I'll shut up here. You can hear the shutter click and you can see how it works. Not sure if you heard that or not, but it definitely starts right back over again. The other nice thing about it, there's a start stop. All you gotta do if you're done is go ahead and just hit the start stop button and it goes right back to the program mode. So then you can go through program if you want one second, 20 seconds, up to like an hour photo. I mean, it goes literally, let's see here, if we click this over, we can literally hit that 99 hours, 99 minutes, and 99 seconds between photos. So. Definitely gonna go ahead and reset that so I don't like an idiot completely forget to reset that and end up with 99 hours between photos. I really don't know who'd ever want 99 hours between photos, but I also, real quick before I went ahead and shut the thing down, I did a couple zoom ins. Um, doubt you can really see on here, but there's actually some geese out there. Don't know if it's gonna show up. My zoom, my 250 lens is just really not, I don't think, big enough to do it. Got some really neat, just like the water lines here on the screen. I'll post those pictures also. Pretty much all I got left to do here is just go ahead and dismount it all, tear it all apart, of course, obviously. Unplug my remote timer, cover my plug back up, put my lens cap and stuff on before I head back up. Because like I said, it is kind of a, quite a bit of a steep incline there. So I'll probably be putting the rapid strap on the camera and then carrying the tripod separately. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, leave me some feedback, some comments. There's something else you'd like me to try and do some time lapse on. I would definitely be open to suggestions. Got a lot of noise in the background. Some guys out there on some dirt bikes and folders off in the OHV park over here at Rathbun. I do plan on getting out and shooting some more ATV and dirt bike videos and some time lapse even maybe of those guys. I got a buddy of mine. Once the car goes by, I got a buddy of mine. Um, gonna be rebuilding a bike here shortly, an old vintage bike. Trying to convince him to let me set the camera up on a timer and watch the bike come back together basically on the workbench. The problem is he usually does it over like, you know, five days or so. So I'm trying to really convince him if we can just knock it out in one day and save me the two hour round trip drive up to his shop every time. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, like I said, please click the subscribe button. It's free to you. Come on guys, it ain't cost you nothing. And you'll check out the new video. So have yourself a wonderful and safe day.